Hi! In this video, I'll show you how to edit a page in Confluence. You'll notice if you try and click or right-click to try to edit something in Confluence, it won't work. In order to edit, what you need to do is go up to the top and click on this Edit button. If you don't see an Edit button, then you are not authorized to edit this page, and if you feel that you should be, you can contact the space owner. Once you're in the Edit area, you can go ahead and start typing, or in this case, pasting. You'll notice there are a lot of familiar features up here, for example, bold, italics, underline. Here's the undo button up here. I'm going to take these things and put them in a numbered list. If I want to change the size of the text, I can change it from paragraphed to something else. I don't even have to highlight the whole thing. I can just put my cursor there. And in addition to these familiar concepts, I wanted to mention four additional features that you may find useful. The first one is the Page Layout button. That's up here. This is a really important button in Confluence. If you click there, this section has now become a section. I can add sections. I can remove sections. I can move sections up. And I can change how they're formatted. I can start typing or add a photo by dragging and dropping. I can move this down. So this is a very, really effective way to change the way your Confluence page presents its information. The second feature I want to show you is the insert link function. This is basically a hyperlink. You can hyperlink to URLs or files or other content, other Confluence pages. I just want to mention this because you can't right-click to get to this. You need to remember to go up and press the Insert Link button up here. Once you're there, you can add your link. The next thing I want to mention is the Insert Table function. This is the Insert Table function here. You can Add a nice table. You can decide on the number of columns and rows you want. And now I've just added a table. Confluence will auto-adjust as you go along. If you decide you need more or fewer uh, columns or rows, that's easy enough to do. All of these buttons help you navigate those. So if I want to get rid of this particular column, I can go over here to the Remove Column button and get rid of that one. Finally, the last thing I want to mention is the Task List button. This is a great way if you have actions and you, that you want to assign. You just click on this little Task List button here. If you want it to assign it to someone specifically, you just add the, the at uh, symbol, and then you can start typing whoever you want. and you add the action. You click Save, and you're done. Thanks for watching.